What a great way to kick off the Valentine season. Welcome to your ultimate political discourse on television. This is Road to Ado 2024, reaching live from Dependent Television. And, and of course, this is our Benet Network studio. My name is Daniel Praise Ose Debabe. Today, we're going to be having a special discussion with Prince Clem Agba, who is the immediate past um, Minister for State for Budget. Of course, he will be speaking in Prozzi. We'll be letting you know, be letting the cat out of the bag in a moment. We'll be taking you through some insight with the guest who will be speaking on behalf of Prince Clem Agba to let Edo people know what he got his talk for them. It's going to be an insightful discussion, I promise you. She is a person of Rosalind Odie Esquire. Uh, she is the, she's the spokesperson for Edo women in diaspora for Prince Clem Agba. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Can you hear me? We can hear you loud and clear. So my voice is going to be a little bit um, shaky because I just flew in from the United States today, so I'm a little bit tired. So so, so bear with me when you don't seem to hear me properly. It's okay? fine. It's fine. We're going to hear you. We are actually hearing you. Uh, happy Val, anyway. Happy Valentine. Valentine, but today is Ash Wednesday, so I'm okay. focusing on that at this You're time. You're focusing on that? Okay, okay. That, that's, on, that's on a lighter note now. Let's talk about Prince Clemagba now. Uh, why should Edolite vote for the man Prince Clemagba? And what is the nexus between your group and his aspiration? Can we try to link this together quickly? Um, thank you for that. You see, Prince Clemagba um, is next to none. I'll say this. So here's the thing. Um, initially, when Prince uh, Clem Abba was vying for, um, has this interest yeah. to come out as a governor, he called us and he told us that he would like to see us, that he's going into this project. And then we were like, oh, okay. And then guess what Prince Clem Abba did? He flew in, he came to meet us, the women in New York, he came to New Jersey to meet with us. He went to um, Dallas. He went to Houston. He even had to go to um, Amsterdam. He went to Belgium. All these places he met with the women one-on-one. -on -one. So after coming to us and telling us um, um, his reasons, his projects, and especially the blueprints, which is trust, we were sold already. And then we said we're going to go with him. So last year, um, we a couple of us... Um, um, supported him in going to um, all the 18 local governments uh, um, to declare his intention for running. Um, I also came here last year to meet with the women leaders in all the 18 local governments and um, the three senatorial women leaders and their sisters as well. Mm. So we are all hands on deck. All the women are hands on deck to support and vote and bring Prince Clem Abba to Osadebe by the grace of God. Okay. okay. Now, but let's quickly look at it this way. Uh, you are in diaspora, but I'm very sure you as a person might be part of the elect electoral process. But if, he's, if he has visited uh, uh, people in Amsterdam, in U.S., another part that you mentioned, what is going to be their impact in the election? They are not going to come down to where those to vote. So why should uh, those people at grassroots trust you uh, to support your movement you'd be surprised if i told you like i told you earlier mm. i just flew in you see i'm still wearing my hoodie mm. i just flew in into into nigeria and as i'm talking to you 50 other women are in nigeria now we are going for that primary on this on saturday by the special grace of god and being that um a just state is so dilapidated right now so decayed mm. so so deadly right now that even to feed is very difficult for for our families here to feed so we in the diaspora we support our families a whole lot give or take 98.9 and a half percent of the of our families here in those states we in the diaspora support them mm. so when we tell them that hey vote go and get your um card and vote for Prince Clem Abba, and then we give them the reasons why they should vote for him. Do you think they're going to say no? Do you think they're going to take us over um, all these um, 
people that um, have, I'm sorry to use this word, intellectual deficiency. Uh. Um, you think they're going to go and say, oh, they're going to follow people who are going to give them one cup of rice and one thousand naira over us? Uh. It's not going to, it's not, it's okay, not okay, quick, quick and yeah. most of us. Uh. Go on, land, yeah. land on your thought, land on your thought. Go ahead yes, and summarize so your thought. You, you, so you saying that, um, how are we going to be, how are we going to come? Yeah. About 50 of us are here at the moment. And then by Saturday, by the grace of God, we're going to have more. And these are women who really believe in the project of Prince Clem Abba. So saying that, how are we going to do this? It's already done. Because we're calling, we're making calls, we're sending messages, and we're doing all it takes to have our family members here. Okay. Families of families of families to oh. vote for Prince Clem. Okay, why, 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 why we wish them safe journey or that guy is in diaspora to join you guys? But, the, the, you. but there's a big concern here. Uh, Clem Agba was part of the previous administration at the center. As far as uh, we're concerned, he was the Minister of State for Budget and Planning. Uh, in the Buhari-led administration. Now, we have a current government that is like an extension of the previous administration, but there seems to be a kind of disconnection as this current government led by President uh, Asiwaju Ahmed Tenubu, they're kind of blaming the eight years of uh, Buhari to be part of the issue why we have problem in Nigeria. Do you think a Edolite want to trust Prince Klemaga owing to the fact that he was part of the Buhari's administration that according to this current administration brought us into where we are today at the center. APC is still struggling for national recognition. Hunger is everywhere. In some states, for your information, in Niger State, Kano, some part of Southwest, there have been serious, serious clamor for government attention to come and take part of hunger. So should the Dolite trust Prince Klemagba, who was part of Buhari's government? Thank you for that very interesting question. Now, I will tell you one thing before I go into APC. Um, APC. Mm. Now, if Clem Abba, Prince Abba, is a member of another party they call KWS, we will go for him. If Clem Abba is going for any other party, we will go for him because it is the man, it is that subject, that human being that we want. Okay. Because he has a fantastic stupendous track record now going to apc can you hear me loud and clear we can hear you we are hearing you so that person the person of prince claim oh. is who we are following okay. so wherever he goes we go because we know we know his antecedents his past antecedents we know all the wonderful things he has done in the past now um Making it with um, the, the situation in Nigeria, yes. I would say that is one of the reasons why most of us disappeared from the, this country and we went abroad. But we want to come back. Now we have, in, listen, let me tell you. I'm listening. In every, in every, in every hundred step, you mm. have to take one bold step. For every 1,000 steps, you have, it has to begin with a step, one bold, solid step. So let's start from a those state front, because they say action speaks louder than words. Mm. If we can fix a those state, listen, it's, it's, the, the country has been like this for, for decades. And I thank God that, that they brought up, um, our new president, which is Bala Ahmed Tinubu, with time, by the grace of God, it's going to fix that. Now, going back to a those states. In those states, last week, um, last year, I was traveling. The road is just a mess, and I keep telling, thinking to myself, "Don't we have a governor? Is it that there's no governor? What is wrong? What is happening in those states?" Then, further, I went to Co East and all that. The road is like the road we have in Dallas. The road is like the road we have in New York. Very beautiful, smooth. Who did that? He was during the time of Prince Clemaba, and he was a junior minister at the time. Yeah. So you can imagine when he becomes a governor, what he's going to do. The road is so clear, so much that I, I saw a very huge um, signboard there. Um, I, it was this show I got, this somebody. I said, ah, why is this man in this place? Is he not supposed to be Prince Clemaba that is supposed to be in this road? Because that road was done 
during this time. Oh. And then the other bad, bad, decaying, decomposed roads, those roads, they put it, they said, this is not our, our, uh, something like, okay, to sum, sum it up, yes. this is not our road, though. this road is for federal government. Though. What kind of animalistic idea is that? Okay. So are you saying that the human beings that are going on that road, they are not people, it doesn't consign you, and you call yourself a governor, how can we have someone who has been in that seat for eight solid years for goodness sake? Hmm. And there's nothing to write home about. Even okay. the things that this claim Albert did at his time, they're all decaying because nobody is, you know, um, um, renovating it. So what are we talking about? This man we call Chris Clem Abba has mm. a wonderful blueprint. And then from past experience, you know, when you say you want to hire someone to do a job, you want to hire someone in a company, mm. maybe you will tell the person, bring your resume. Mm. When you tell the person, bring your resume, it's not based on the resume that you're going to give the person the job. Mm. Okay. So now, look, All right. look at the resume. And one second, just give me one minute. Mm. Let me just... Quickly, quickly. quickly. Let me wrap, wrap up, up for your talk because yes. we, we need to manage our time. We need to manage our time. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. So now, we have all this. Will you now say you're going to give somebody else a, 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 a I don't understand. So, Chris Clemaba, from hmm. all ramifications, is the man that we're going to put there. Okay. As God has said it. Okay, now, you, you've, been, you've been on the neck, the juggler of the sitting governor of, his, of the state, His Excellency. Governor Gordon of Baseki. But we'll, I'll, I'll actually want you to just refrain from some of these harsh words, all right? They, they are not too good for uh, the person of the sitting governor. Is that okay? But however, you, you think Prince Clemagba can outdo... I didn't, mention, I didn't mention anybody's name, oh my God. Okay. I'm sorry, I didn't mention all right, anybody's name. All right, so okay. all right, it's okay, Rosalind or dear Esquire. No, Wahala. But let's move on. Now, do you think Prince Clemagba, your principal, got what it take to out to do this current administration let's narrow it down uh just of recent or uh, a while some months back he was at the palace to visit uh, his royal majesty the above benin and the above benin actually told him that when he was minister uh, at the federal level development didn't really flow in uh, those states and of course some persons that were in at the palace at that time they were asked if they actually felt his impact when he was a minister and the answer was no now how do we try to strike a balance now if someone who was a minister uh, at the federal level didn't really have huge impact in the lives of edolites contract or project were directed to some part of edo and of course some people felt his way of bringing project into the state was lopsided do you think if he becomes governor of edo state we are not going to have a kind of replica of what happened when he was a minister for state. Okay, you asked me a question. I'm going to answer. So if we are in Nigeria, we answer question for question. Now I'm going to ask one question. You speak to the. the you speak to. You speak to the issue, please. You speak. I am to, speaking to the issue. Okay. Can you hear me? I'm hearing you. We can hear you. Okay. So if you're asking if he's going to bring any. The present government, we don't know if they brought anything yet, but I'm telling you, like I told you earlier, mm. Prince Clem Abba has brought more foreign investors to the state than you can imagine. And I'm not saying this for saying sake. I had to Google him. As a matter of fact, we, the women in the diaspora, we had to Google him. You he has brought more investors to Edo states more than we can imagine. And then he has fixed the road. Now, the road that he has fixed is between um, in Esako is all that road is still like that that is, that is that is in, that is in, that is in that is in that is in the donuts that is in the donuts so what happened that, to what no, happened to central and south he was a minister for the federal republic the one, let, let, let me tell you the ones that he did in edo south and edo central who was there to follow it up who was there to renovate it even the ones that he did they even brought it down they demolished it who demolished it that's the question that that back in the days they used to pay hmm. back in the days i will still find out when i find out i will tell you you have to give me your personal number because no. we in the diaspora we hmm. don't know all this we we'll definitely we we'll definitely want you to furnish us hold on hold on we we'll definitely and i will furnish it we we'll definitely want you to furnish us with all this information because you actually said 
uh, that you actually googled some of this information. Information can be dropped online. Anyone can just yes. drop information on search yes. engine. And some of these projects, like you alleged, there could be audio projects. Project that doesn't exist. So how how will reason. those state people trust you now you or trust him? That is the more reason why you shouldn't believe. Listen, that is the more reason why you shouldn't believe everything that all the other aspirants have been saying. They've been talking on top, 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 top. We need to talk and do. So Rather convince, talking, convince, convince Edo like now they are watching. Everyone is watching you. It's a live TV broadcast, and everyone is watching you right now. Yes, and then let me tell you the reason. One of the reasons, which is a lot of them. Prince Clemaba is going to do wonders like he did when he was a junior minister. Oh. Remember, he was a junior minister three and a half years. He fixed the roads. He did all those things for a uh, uh, for, for life. Now, we should not go and live in bondage. We should not go and say because somebody is giving us one, dollar, one naira or two naira or giving us one cup of rice, we are going to sell our bed right. Oh. Listen, let me tell you. Godfatherism is no more in Edo State. We don't want nothing like Godfatherism. We want us. I'm so happy now that we're doing this in direct family. So okay. everyone can come out. We in the diaspora, we're telling our families, it's about time you come out and vote. Vote your conscience. Use your conscience to vote. We don't want any situation whereby they say, oh, my uncle said Godfatherism. Or God said, make I vote. Mm. Even the organ that they said you should vote. What happened when, during the time, like, uh, four years ago, eight years ago, he could not even come to the state. Okay. Same or God that good people will now tell now that the state should vote. So now Prince Clem Alba has come with all these blueprints, trust, transforming rural and urban uh, spaces together. That one alone supersedes every other thing. Okay. Now, he, tell, he told us this. Let me tell you. Give me one minute. Quickly. He said, yeah. when you come ab from abroad, when you come from abroad and you have so much money, you come home, you want to spend holidays, you want to go to the hospital and you have so much money, you cannot go to the hospital because there's no hospital. So you are more like a poor, a poor man because you have all this money, you can go to no hospital, there's no light, there's no road. This man wants to connect the urban and the rural spaces together okay. so that when you bring him to the urban sector, mm. we will pay you, we'll give you money. Okay, so Rosalind Esquire, uh, some things you actually said against the government didn't go down well in some quarter. Uh, we, would, we would like you to quickly just take it off, take it off your chest so that we can just quickly wrap up now. Thank you. Okay, um, for the present government, ah, no, I did not say anything to... Um, derogate them or, or, or to reduce their, you know, like their personality and everything. You know. If I had mistakenly said it in the course of me trying to show the world, the people, the reality of how we in the diaspora feel, oh. please, I do apologize on that aspect. But saying what is real, black and white, about what is going on in Edo State, we... We, I cannot say sorry in that one because it's true. Uh, Matter it's, speaks for it, itself. It's, it's okay. So Th please, thank I you. apologize for the honor. Thank you. You just spoke like a lawyer that you are. Thank you so much. Let's quickly start uh, wrapping it up. I actually asked uh, a leader in the, in the APC, uh, in person of Senator Adams Ali Oshomale, he actually pleaded, appealed to some of the aspirants, all the aspirants in a donut. He told them to let go of the aspiration for now, owing to the fact that a donut already have uh, a minister at the federal level. Do you think this will also give um, credence to Clem, uh, Clem Agba's uh, aspiration? So, um, to answer your question, when you give... We're afraid this is how much we can go on the show. We hope to have uh, Rosalind or D.I. Esquire again to return back and give us more insight to the reason why we need Priest Clem Agba as the next governor of federal state. Well, everyone, that's the size of our package. We'll be seeing you on the next one. Happy Val, happy Ash Wednesday. My name is Daniel Price, Osset Debame. Good evening.